Hey, what's up? This is Hunter Nelson, president of Tortoise and Hare Software, an Atlantic Beach based software development and digital marketing company. And today we're going to be looking at how to add a user to your search console. So, Google Search Console is a tool that is really great for SEO. Um, so, what I'm going to do is open up a new web browser here and just type in the search bar Search Console. And you can see the first hit is Google, Son Google Search Console, formerly known as Google Webmaster Tools. Uh, I'm going to click Start Now here. And since I've already created a Search Console account, I'm taken to the home screen. Um, and just real quickly, Search Console, again, is a great tool for SEO. It's how you register your site with Google um, so that it begins to crawl it. Um, it allows you to do things like submit sitemaps. You can get all sorts of great data here on the uh, types of queries that your site is generating impressions for, the number, number of clicks you're getting, the specific pages uh, you're getting impressions for, the average position that you're appearing in the search results uh, page, and just other cool stuff like that. Um, so this is definitely something that uh, third-party web developers and digital marketing agencies should be requesting access to. Uh, if they're handling your SEO because it's going to help them analyze your performance, make improvements, address any issues, and uh, just in general make your site perform better with uh, search engines. So the first thing I'm going to do is make sure that I'm selecting the correct property. Um, I manage a number of websites here, but I'm going to make sure that I've selected the one that I want to add a user to. And here is the Tortoise and Hare software website, so I'm going to click on that. And I'm already, I was already in this one, but uh, just make sure that you've selected the right one. And then come down here to the Settings button and click on that. And then I'm going to go over here to Users and Permissions and click on that. And in the top right, there's a blue button here called Add User, and I'm going to click on that. And I'll be prompted here to enter a valid uh, Google account email. Um, so you can't just enter any old email, you've got to enter one that's associated with a valid Google account and oftentimes this is going to be a Gmail address. So I'm going to add one here and I'm going to give them full permissions. There's two options, there's restricted and full. Restricted really just means read only and full is read and edit. And uh, if you're working with a third-party web developer and marketing agency, you're most likely going to give them full permission so they can configure, add sitemaps, and things like that. And then I'll click uh, Add here. And once the screen refreshes, we can see that a new user has been added to this property. And they'll get an email that lets them know that they've been granted access. And then they can click on that and come directly to this property and begin to manage it. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, visit us on the web, tortoiseandhairsoftware.com, and, hair and uh, go to our contact page, and uh, we can, we'll do what we can to help you out. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel here if you like these videos, and stay tuned for more. Thank you.